All right, welcome to lecture 29, part B. All right, so in the last part, we talked about what acid bases are. And um, what we finished up with was sort of um, a definition that helps us out in a lot of situations for understanding what an acid and a base is. Specifically, we were talking about what Mr. Arrhenia said. What did he say again? He said that acids produce H plus in water. And he said, uh, bases produce OH in water. Now, it turns out this definition, it's not wrong, but there's other ways of looking at it that are a little bit different about what makes something an acid or a base. So Arrhenius, about 100 years ago, came up with this definition. About 20 years afterwards, another definition uh, was developed of what acids have in common and what bases have in common. And actually this definition is the one, if you're gonna take more biology or biological chemistry, this is the one they use a lot actually. And another way of looking at what acids and bases, uh, how they behave, it really doesn't have to do with how what they do in water. It has to do with what do they do around each other? And this definition is called the Bronsted-Lowry definition. So another view, another way of thinking about acids, their way says acids are substances that donate hydrogen in a reaction. So that sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? They donate hydrogen in a reaction, kind of like Arrhenia said. But their de definition of a base is totally different in Arrhenius. They said, you know what? If you accept hydrogen, you are a base. So uh, bases in their definition are where that hydrogen is going. That hydrogen has to go somewhere. Wherever it's going, that's the base. All right, so again, you'll see this a lot in biology or if you take biochemistry or something at some point, this is the definition they like. All right, let's, let me do an example. All right, so we need a reaction. And in this reaction, we're gonna learn one thing's the acid, one thing's the base. Let's do an example. All right, how about, uh, let's, uh, let me start off. We'll start off with this one here. All right, and if you put these two things together, I'm gonna write out what you're gonna make. Uh, you are gonna be making Cl minus, and you're also gonna be making NH4 plus. All right, so as far as this goes, in the reaction, somebody is giving up a hydrogen, that's the acid. Somebody is taking the hydrogen, that's the base. So what we need to do is find the molecules on both sides and see what's going on. Do they lose a hydrogen or do they gain a hydrogen? So let's start off with the HCl. If I find what he turned into on the opposite side, the right-hand side, he turned into Cl minus. So he, in this reaction, lost a hydrogen. If you lose a hydrogen, you are acting as an acid. Now that hydrogen, where did it go? It went over to NH3. The hydrogen that it's getting rid of, that it's losing, is joining up with this NH3. And do you see how NH3, well, when the reaction was over, it turned into NH4. So yeah, oh yeah, NH3, it gained a hydrogen. It went from three to four, that's gaining. So he gained a hydrogen. So if you gain a hydrogen, you are a base, you are a base. All right, so the um, with that, um, let me explain one more thing here. And then, you know, I'm going to show you a couple examples in this video of this. So hopefully it'll make sense. So, um, one more thing I want to tell you, these terms here, acids and bases, they have to do with the reactants. We can label the stuff on the left-hand side of the reaction. One fell as the acid, one fell as the base. Now, there are also terms for the products, the things that we're making. 
the products of this reaction also have names. One of them is the conjugate base. The other one is going to be called the conjugate acid. So what the way this works is the acid, what it turns into is called the conjugate base. What the base is, what it turns into is called the conjugate acid. So you notice the terms flipped, right? The acid turns into the conjugate base. The base turns into the conjugate acid. These terms, conjugates, they're on the right-hand side. They're products. Let's see if we can figure out which one's which. The acid turns into the conjugate base. Here is my acid. When it gave up a hydrogen, it turned into this. The thing it turned into is the conjugate base. Oh. This was my base. When it gained that hydrogen, when it gained that hydrogen, the thing it turned into is called the conjugate acid. All right. So in this video, we're just going to practice identifying which one's which. All right. Who's the acid? Who's the base? Who's the conjugate acid? Who's the conjugate base? So I'm going to show you another example or two of this. So um, make sure you have these terms straight in your head. Um, let me show you a little picture that I found. I don't know if it's going to help you or not, but, you know, let's see if it does. So one way to think about this is if you have you have a reaction going on between a, a dog and a cat and the acid uh, let's say it's the dog. So when he has that hydrogen, he's the acid. When he gives up that hydrogen, he becomes the conjugate base. I don't know. Is this useful? Maybe not. But hey, it's a picture of a dog and a cat. How can you resist? All right, a drawing of a dog and a cat. Good, good enough. Now, the cat is taking that hydrogen. So he's the base. What he turns into when he gets that hydrogen, he becomes the conjugate acid. All right. With that, let's try a couple more. That might help more than pictures of cats and dogs, huh? All right, let me flip over. I'm going to show you one more. All right, show you one or two more and let's try it. Okay, probably more than pictures of cats and dogs is uh, looking at another reaction. Let's try one more. All right, so here we got a reaction and I want to identify who's the acid Who's the base? Who's the conjugate acid? Who's the conjugate base? So the way you know is you look for the movement of hydrogen. All right. So let's kind of compare the fell on the left, the fellas, I guess, on the left and the fellas on the right. Let's see what's going on. So my first molecule right here, if you look at what he turned into on the right hand side, he turned into this. Do you see how all those atoms are basically the same? The only difference is that hydrogen up front, that hydrogen up front, it's not there anymore on the right hand side. So this hydrogen has been lost to turn into this product. All right, to turn into this, to turn into this guy. So he is losing a hydrogen. He lost a hydrogen. If you're losing a hydrogen, you are the acid. Now, one more thing. What you turned into, the part of you that's left, that is called the conjugate base. The conjugate base. All right. Now, the other guy, the other guy, I guess I'm talking about the water. The water, what did he do? Water in this reaction, he went from two hydrogens to three hydrogens, two to three. Water is gaining a hydrogen. If you are gaining a hydrogen, a hydrogen, 
Compare it from here to here. Yeah, he gained a hydrogen. If you gain a hydrogen, Broadstead and Lowry, they said, hey, you're a base. The thing you turn into when you gain that hydrogen, that is called the conjugate acid. All right, the conjugate acid. All right, so with that, let's do let's do one more. Now, this last one, actually, I'm going to do a little pop-up question on you. Let's see if this is making sense. I hope it is. I hope it is, but we won't know for sure until we practice, will we? All right, so let me turn over the page one more time, and we'll do one more practice one. All right, practice time. All right, so I'm going to ask you all about this reaction. So um, let's see. We got a reaction. I think it's like an acid and a base reacting, but I want to know which one's the acid, which one's the base, and so on. So for this reaction, I'm going to ask you the same things I've been working on. So identify the acid, identify the base in this reaction. All right, so you're going to get two pop-up questions. First one's going to be, look at that reaction. Which one is the acid? Which molecule is the acid? I should warn you one more thing. You know, in this program I'm using, you can't really do subscripts very well, so I apologize for that. But hopefully you'll be able to figure it out. Which one is the acid? Okay. What molecule, what substance in this reaction is the base? All right. Let's see if you got it right. All right. When I look at this thing, let's see what happened here. This fella went from one hydrogen to two hydrogens. This fella is gaining a hydrogen. If you gain a hydrogen, this guy is your base. By the way, I didn't ask you this, but what he turns into, this is called the conjugate acid. All right. Water went from two hydrogens. Now, this might have been a little tricky. Look what he turned into. Now, that's this guy. And on the other side, this is what's left of the water. Water lost a hydrogen. It went from H2O to only have one hydrogen. And you saw this before earlier this semester. We like to flip the order sometimes of the atoms. So it's written OH. All right. It's still, it's really the water. But now instead of H2O, it's only got one hydrogen. Um, another way of saying that is, oh, he lost a hydrogen. And if you lost a hydrogen, this is your acid. And what he turned into, by the way, this is called the conjugate base. All right. So I hope that makes sense. Oh, do you know what? Let's do one last practice question. One last one. Okay, great. With that, that's the end of this part. All right. So one more section here. We're going to move on to something a little more mathematical in our last video. So um, uh, hopefully this is making sense. If not, we'll practice it in Zoom a little bit. And uh, you can always send me an email or whatever, and I'll try to help you the best I can. All right. That's it for part B.